Hey guys, welcome to Clarity Chart Analysis. In this channel, I'll be interpreting, analyzing the market structure, telling us our current position on the price market chart, and also using the market structure to predict the next possible move of the market. But first guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both directions of the market, you want to know our current position on the price market chart, guys, this channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. Guys, welcome to the Dogecoin USDT price market chart. This video is a quick update on the market structure. So guys, on our major structure, which is our daily time frame, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. And guys, after every break of structure, remember, we expect a pullback. For us to be on a pullback phase, we needed price to take out this swing that gave us this lower low. And guys, currently now, we've seen price take out the swing that gave us this lower low. So currently now, guys, we're on a pullback phase. And guys, we've even seen price get close to the lower high that gave us this lower low. But guys, using our FIP2, the idea of the FIP2 is after, after we've seen a break of structure and price is pulling back, the FIP2 helps determine to what extent or range do we expect price to pull back to. We've seen price pull back to the premium of our FIP2. The upper part is the premium, while the lower part is the discount. And guys, the idea of this FIP2 is actually this. Anytime price breaks structure to the downside, we express price to pull back to the premium of our FIP2. And anytime price breaks structure to the upside, we expect price to pull back to the discount, which is the lower part of our FIP2. So guys, currently now, we've seen price pull back to the premium. So guys, what do you think? Do you think from this point, price will continue breaking structure to the upside? Or price will just get the supply zone before continuing seeing more break of structure to the downside? Oh guys, do you think from this point, since we've seen price go back to the premium, do you think price will just continue breaking more structure to the downside? So guys, let's go back to a far time frame. Let's go see what's happening on our minor structure. So guys, thank you for watching my video both new and returning viewers. I really appreciate a lot. Clarity chart analysis is here to give you updates on market structure. But guys, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. So guys, on our hour time frame, which is our minor structure, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. And guys, remember, we're expecting a pullback guys i wish we were on the pullback phase sure we're on the pullback phase because it was actually this swing that gave us this lower low and guys we've seen price trade above this swing that gave us the lower low so guys currently now we're on the pullback phase too on our minor structure so guys looking at this what do you notice we notice that the price has been building liquidity to the upside and both to the downside but guys for us to recognize this pattern price is building Clearly, let's go back to our lower time frame, such as 30 minute time frame, to go see what's really happening. Sure, the fact still remains that the higher time frame actually drives the lower time frame. But, guys, for us to get in early, we need to go back to our lower time frame, such as 15 and 30 minutes, to go spot either a change of character or a pattern so we can get into the market before it plays out on the higher time frame. So, guys, looking at our 30 minute time frame, what do we notice? We notice that price has built liquidity to the upside and price has also built liquidity to the downside. Fully knowing that on our minor structure and on our major structure, which is the 4 hour time frame and the daily time frame, we're expecting price to start going back down. So guys, do you think price will just take out liquidity to the upside, which we've seen price take out liquidity to the upside before we start breaking more structure to the downside. And guys, looking at this pattern, this pattern is actually a rising wedge, meaning price is about to come down. But guys, let's trade carefully and let's make sure when trading we use our stop loss because altcoins are actually volatile. But using a stop loss to trade, you won't be scared of executing your trades. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think from this point price is trading, price will have to come back to this supply zone? before we continue seeing more break of structure to the downside. Knowing fully well that there is a rising wage that is 
reading on our minor structure, which is the 4-hour time frame, and which on our 30-minute time frame, we've actually seen it clearly. Or oh guys, do you think price will have to take out this swing using this other lower eye as a liquidity and come back to this supply zone before continuing seeing more break of structure to the downside? Or currently, from this point, price is trading. We've seen price get to our premium. Price will just continue breaking more structure to the downside. Thank you guys for watching this video. Clarity chart analysis is here to give updates on the market structure. Well guys, if you've not subscribed, for you not to miss out, please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video.